My father was um, on the board of directors. He was actually one of the first, I think, Browns to, who was employed here to basically say, you know what, uh, great company, love the brands, love all you folks, but I, I, I don't know if I'm going to work my whole career here. And, and he decided to, to leave the company after about five or six years, I think. Soon after his, his father had passed away, I think he felt a little, had some time of reflection and recognized that as much as he loved the business and the brands and the people, uh, he wanted to go do something else. And so I probably wasn't surrounded by images or uh, stories of the company as, as some other, other people maybe. But um, you know, I began, and I grew up in Montreal, so I, I really, really wasn't even familiar with Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, very much, other than coming here on vacations in the summer and visiting cousins. Um, it really wasn't until late in my high school years uh, that, I, that I got intimate with Brown Foreman in terms of, you know, I, had, I began, I did an internship here one summer working in the mailroom and uh, loved it, loved being here, uh, loved coming to work at Brown Foreman, the folks I worked with in the mailroom, getting to kind of see a company from the inside like that, where you begin to just meet all these different executives and managers um, because you're just dropping off mail. And, um, and I remember just walking around this place and it really is like a campus, you know, it's spread out. Uh, you get to cross streets to get to different offices and each building's different than the next. And you walk into some of these offices and it's not your typical cube or office space. You've got these wonderful reminders of what you're doing that's all around you with pieces of point of sale and posters and advertisements and um, mementos that you collect along the way, whether it's, you know, in an on-premise environment or off-premise environment, you just had all these really neat things. And I remember thinking, I'd love to get some of that stuff, you know, how, how did that work? And uh, that's kind of, I guess my first introduction to Brown Fulman was kind of carrying the mail around here.